We all need to be encouraged In this world that's in a spin We all need some positivity That's why I always tune in To Women Nation Women Nation Women Nation Women Nation Are you paying $1,000 or more for rent? Is your credit score 600? What are you doing? The Hayes Real Estate Team is here to make your dreams of home ownership come true. Hayes Real Estate Team made the process so easy. Yes, we purchased our first home using our VA loan with zero down and cash back at closing. And the Hayes Real Estate Team got my house under contract in less than 30 days. The Hayes Real Estate Team, all we do is make moves for you. Nation. We are super excited today. We have a very, very special guest. She wears many, many hats. Mom, wife, entrepreneur, and millionaire mom. She is the mom of six beautiful daughters. And today she decided to come and, and tell us her inspiring story of how they went from food stamps to millions. Welcome, Miss Lanika Scott. <laughs> thank, thank you so, so much. much. <laughs> thank you so much for having me on your show. I'm so honored just to be here with you today. Awesome. And as you guys can see today, we're actually in a different location. We are in Boca Raton, Florida. And so we're here on a sister's retreat because Lanika is also the visionary and leader of a prayer call that has been going on for how many years? It's been like nine years. It's amazing. Yes. So the sisters got together this weekend. And so we're shooting the Women Nation show from Boca Raton, Florida um, this weekend. But let's just get right into it. Um, Lanika, tell us, how did you do it? How did you go from food stamps to millionaire, a stay-at-home mom of right. six daughters? Mm -hmm. Tell us your story. Well, um, I'll tell you, it, it is a lot. So, you know, definitely dealing with a very limited amount of time. Uh, but first of all and foremost, I would like to say that I've always, you know, was going to find a way to make a dollar, right? Just always have been ambitious, you know, just love entrepreneurship, right? And so um, because we have so many daughters, you know, I took to the home-based business industry, I actually left my job in 2007 um, after baby number five. I just didn't want to, you know, go back to corporate America. I felt like if there were so many moms making it happen from home, they were building businesses, then I could do it too. And so that's what I did. And so I actually got started in direct sales um, by 2008, was learning how to do internet marketing, um, got a part of a company in 2009, and I hit my first six figures um, in, the net, in the direct sales network marketing industry. And what I discovered is that this industry, it taught me so much about myself. Wow. It taught me so much about personal development development and just not even um, being um, at a stagnated place but also as you grow and as you expand there is more room for expansion that there is more room for growth and that you can dream big and then you begin to get around people that you typically aren't connected with and then you see their lives and you see barriers that have been able to be broken for them and so just started really digging deep you know just really start to, to press even that much more harder but I'm gonna tell you something Danita you know when when we lost um, just about everything it was after we had built a million dollar business and you see by 2009 we had elevated to the top charts of that particular company at that time um, 2009 and 10 we had very significant amount of numbers in fact I was the top earner um, in the state of North Carolina had to retire my husband you know now we're both doing the business together um, and then the business crashed wow. and then we found ourselves just you know at, at a very uh, difficult place um, very hard place yes. um, and, and, and as Danita mentioned you know from food stamps to millions that title came about because during that time after we had built a million dollar business and it crashed we had to seek government government assistance and not only did we have our six mouths to feed but we also had a niece living with us during that time so now you have you know, six children, a mom and a dad and a niece living in one house. But I tell you, but because of the grace of God yes. and because of 
his 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 word and how you just hold on to that word that's one thing that we did during that time and it was because of his grace that we were able to really quickly pick ourselves um back up again and then also not only excel you know to six figures but even six figures and beyond which is seven figures and even see multi millions of income um, in the last few years because of a company that we became a part of at the ground floor level and oftentimes you know you'll have a failure or even a setback mm -hmm. and then you don't want to do anything but talk about starting at the first you yeah. know being a pioneer being a trendsetter and even all of these doubts and you know can I do this you know am, am I really made up of something can I you know be a first again can I, I mean can I be a t at the top again but you can and that's what of the things that God really sh taught me and showed me was that even during that time I was carrying you and your husband through a process and a process where one could not deny that my grace was still upon your life absolutely and something I teach and I share so many times today is you cannot allow your down place to define you because it was during the time when we were on the food steps I mean very oppressed state and my husband had to go back out and get a job he was a six-figure plus earner in his career he had built his career up to six figures and now all of this snatched away retired him from what we thought was retiring him from corporate america just to lose everything and now he's getting a job and he took the first thing coming for eleven dollars an hour so wait let me just stop you right okay here. so you mean to tell me you guys built a million dollar business mm -hmm. it crashed mm -hmm. and then your husband was making six figures yeah. before the million dollars right and then right. he had to take a entry-level job right that is amazing mm -hmm. and you guys still continue to persevere and yes. you still continue to say yes right that's right. awesome mm -hmm. that is so awesome thank you thank you yes 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 so tell me this, you know, I, we talk about this company mm -hmm. that um, you guys had the opportunity right. to actually make millions again. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. How did you get started right. and how did it, um, how did it just flourish and right. grow to so many people? You're right. Today? Yeah. So um, the company, so I can say the name? Yeah. Okay. So the company is called Total Life Changes. So my husband and I, we are independent business owners of Total Life Changes, which is a direct sales company. Mm -hmm. And um, Mr. Kenny Lord and his lovely wife, Ms. Shante Lord, mm -hmm. reached out to us. Actually, they reached out to me about a website, right? Designing a website. I had designed a website for them during, um, of course, a time when we were just trying to do things to bring income into the house. And I asked them, I said, well, what are y'all doing? You know, because I know they're also entrepreneurs we had met in the prior company. They were also million dollar earners, top income earners in the prior company. And then they said, you know what? You and Greg will be a great fit for this. Mm -hmm. You know, we're starting this company. We're launching it in the United States of America. We would love you all on the team. And that's pretty much how I got started. And I want to say the reason why it is what it is today is the grace of God, the favor of God, and then plus the products work. I mean, you know, in entrepreneurship, wealth is generated when you have products that provide a solution for people. Absolutely. But did did you have apprehension oh, because absolutely. of what happened, you know, before? Mm -hmm. So what made you say yes? Yes. So um, I definitely apprehension, fear was there. You know, if I, if I said fear wasn't there, I would be lying today. I think in any major risk or any major opportunity or any major stepping out, there's going to be some fear. But I will say this. I was in prayer. You know, I'm a woman of prayer, of course, yes. right? That's how we met through prayer, yes. right? <laughs> and um, God just said, I'm not finished with you yet in wow. network marketing. And I'm like, what? Yeah, you're not finished with me. He was like, there's work to be done, daughter. There is work to be done. And so just standing on that particular word, I knew that there was more, it was a more deeper purpose yes. that I didn't see set before me at that time. But now it was just a matter of me really walking out that purpose and just being spirit led to build it. Yes, we work, right? We A lot of work went into play, but it's fun work, right? And it's, and it's something that I really enjoy. Good. So we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to still be here with Ms. Lanika Scott, and she is going to continue to tell us, tell us her inspiring story. 
The game of Monopoly taught us how to invest in real estate as a child. But unlike Monopoly, real estate investment does not come with instructions. I'm Chola Owens with World Class Realty, and I can help you pass, go, and collect your profit. Call me today. My name is Arlie Hatcher, also known as The Entrepreneur on Instagram. I would love for you all to come out to the Defining Your Vision brunch and book signing for my book, Heart of a Mompreneur. You can get tickets at www.arliehatcher.com. Life is full of firsts, like buying your first home. The Hayes Real Estate team is here to help, so you can focus on those other, more important firsts. The Hayes Real Estate Team Nation. Welcome back again, guys. We are here with Mrs. Lanika Scott, and she is telling us her story of how she went from food stamps to million dollar status. So as I told you earlier, we're actually in Boca Raton, mm -hmm. Florida. Yes. We're here for a prayer sister um, retreat. And so tell us a little bit about the prayer call. How did you get that started? <laughs> Listen, y'all, this prayer call has been going on for nine years. Mm -hmm. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5.30 a.m. I do urge you to get on that call because it's life-changing. It's been life-changing for me and so many others who have gotten on that prayer call. But how did you get started? What made you start that call? And how did you stay consistent with it? Um, well, I've always been a woman of prayer, you know, just praying for people, you know, so long. I mean, it even goes back to, I'm reminded around 1998 when I'll just be, you know, on the phone and somebody would need prayer and I'd just go in, right, just praying for them. And so prayer just really became a way of life for me. Wow. So when I got started in um, the direct sales industry in 2008, I just realized that I couldn't do anything, or shall I say, I knew I couldn't do anything without God, yes. you know, in my business. So I said, I want to make sure that I'm giving you glory, that I'm building a business where the foundation is Christ. But I also said, I can't do that just by myself, so I need people. And so I remember, you know, just saying, ladies, let's start prayer on Mondays. So we would get up every Monday and we would pray. And then when I transitioned to another company, um, we decided to just now go strong every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, you know, we're getting up um, every Monday through Friday praying. It was 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time still. And then um, some things happened with uh, some of the prayer partners, and so I had to kind of break away. Okay. And then at that time, then uh, a couple of other sisters said, well, I will be there with you. And so we just started leading the charge. And so from that particular um, prayer call up until now, we have been going strong. And it really been, it has really been just the grace of God that have kept me and then also the prayer sisters that are now gathered together praying every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday Absolutely. for the people of God. And mm -hmm. it seems like it just continues to grow mm -hmm. and grow and grow and people's lives are really being touched. And it sounds like to me what I'm hearing is that you know, you have the millionaire status. Mm -hmm. You're not chasing after the millions, but what you're chasing after is the will of mm -hmm. God, yes. which is just so awesome. Yes. And I love the way that you put God first because most companies, they don't want to mention God right. in, in their company. They don't mm -hmm. want to mention anything that has anything to do with religion. Mm -hmm. So I think that is just amazing that you do that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and I know that you had a lot of inspiring stories, mm -hmm. a lot of things mm -hmm. that yeah. happened, you know, when you were in your down place. Tell right. us about you know, one of those difficult times right. where you were able to overcome. Mm -hmm. So one particular time I share on the prayer call, I believe during that time, Danielle and Tori, you know, was on the call just to witness it. And I just kept sharing the story over and over again. But I never forget my husband and I, we had went to the grocery store. We just had a small amount of money on my PayPal card. Wow. You know, PayPal, you know, you have a PayPal card, you have a PayPal account, and if anybody do a sale online, then that money would show up on your account. It would show up in your account, but also it would be attached to your car. So we're like, it was right after Christmas. Had really spent just about everything that we could on Christmas, right? Just to provide our family just with a Christmas. And when that money hit on the car, which was just a few dollars, um, 
I, I said, we got to go to the grocery store. So my husband and I, we got up early to go to the grocery store. He was like, okay, I'll go get the bread. You get the eggs or something like that. And I just remember just being, you know, in the grocery store aisle, walking down the aisle. And instantly I felt the presence of God. Now, a lot of times, you know, when you begin to flow in different gifts, you know, you just say, okay, thank you for that. And you just keep on going. But at this particular time, I'm like, in the midst of everything we're going through, I got to know, what are you saying, God? And I just remember being in that grocery store and just looking up to heaven saying, what are you saying? And God, it was like he just, it was like one of those shaking moments where it's just me and the Father. Mm -hmm. And he said, I am your source. Jesus. I am your source. And it was so strong. And I remember when Greg came back, I was like, I just had a, you know, a, 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 an experience where God just reminded, like, that company that was going through whatever you're seeing in your bank account, whatever you're seeing in the refrigerator, I'm your source. I am your provider. That's it. And I just really grabbed hold to, to that word. And so, in essence, I didn't look to man to be my provider. Although God uses men. He yes. used men and women in the earth realm. That's how he accomplished his will. But it was keeping my eyes focused on him. And that he was the one to provide. And I'm even reminded of the scripture, Matthew 6 and 33. Yes. You know, you seek ye first the kingdom of God. Yes. And all of these things. Not some of these things, but all of these things will be added unto you. And that encompasses wealth, that encompasses abundance, that encompasses prosperity. He says in his word, beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prosper. Yes. So the prayer call, this prayer movement, my life being the very one of prayer has just been just that. Whether I had the money, whether I didn't have the money. And that's one thing that I know wholeheartedly that I will continue to stand on no matter what is given and granted unto me in this realm, that I will still continue to keep God first and prayer will be always, it would always be a part of my life. Absolutely. That is just such an amazing story, an inspiring story. I mean, for people to, if people could really understand that you focus on God and everything else will fall into place. Everything else that you need will come. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. he is our source. He is our provider. Mm -hmm. And so it's just amazing that you guys were able to push past that mm -hmm. and that you put prayer as your focus and, yes. and God's will was your focus. It is. It has been. You know, think about, you know, the fact that we not only, you know, was able to see a lot, but because of that and just even being in the wisdom of God and continuing to seek God through the process, the elevation and the increase, we were able to, you know, save up enough money to pay off of our home cash. Wow. And that had always been, you know, a dream of ours before, you know, just long before everything happened when Greg and I first got married, which was over 22 years ago, um, we wanted to be able to one day have a home debt free. And we were also able to bless our daughter, you know, last year, 21 years old wow. with her own place. That's a blessing, yes. right? And so six daughters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, six girls. Jasmine, Janae, Jayla, Joy, Jaira, and Jordan. I always say, did I forget any? <laughs> now, how is that dynamic in your house with six girls? Oh, no, my six God. girls. Six girls. There's I got no, two. There's no six. adult moment. You know, my daughter, Otis daughter, she's also an entrepreneur. Wow. You know, she has her own cupcake business. What's the name of her, her business? Um, Jazzina's Creations. Yes. Right? Yes, yes. And then our other, our, other, our other daughter, she is uh, pursuing modeling. She's very tall, six feet, y'all. Chocolate drop. Wow. Beautiful. And she's pursuing modeling. And, you know, we got a few... Uh, you know, children who just all brains, right? Just all lays, um, all lays in school, and just the baby Jordan. She's flipping around the house all of the time. She's the life of the home. She is the boss of the house. She regulates the house. She keeps everybody laughing and in check. But yeah, we wow. get very uh, busy, 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 busy. Yeah. Home. So with <laughs> all of that, and I know you get asked this question mm -hmm. all the time. You wear so many hats: yes. mom, entrepreneur, um, you know, friend, sister, yes, right? Uh, da daughter, right? Um, how do you balance it all? Yes. How do you balance it all? One step at a time. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
it, it really is. It is a balancing act day by day, you know, right before this video, you know, it's like that check, okay, what needs to be done right now, what is priority, yeah. right? And so um, I'm sending messages, okay, I need you to help take care of this, and I need you to do this. So it's, it really is a, a, a day by day type of thing, writing a to-do list, making sure, you know, that I'm getting the things on the to-do list knocked out and prioritized, and so family and business list, and that also helps me. So you pray, mm -hmm. you delegate, mm -hmm. and you don't try to do everything all at once. You right. just take it one step at right. a time, which is That's some right. good advice, especially yeah, for right. working moms and for entrepreneur <laughs> women. Now, you have this book out. It's called Fasting for a Breakthrough. Yes. Listen, y'all, I read this book. Oh, my God. It was life-changing. Oh, life-changing. So thank tell you. me, mm -hmm. you know, reading the book, I could tell that it wasn't just you writing the book. Really? I could feel the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. So tell me, how did that come about with you writing that book? Right. So um, originally, when we had saw the first area breakthrough in um, the home-based business industry, I went on a fast. I went on a 21-day Daniel fast. Now, fasting wasn't new to me. Fasting was a lifestyle. But during this time, you know, I kind of pulled away a little bit from fasting. And my sister, you know, my sister in love, Tanya Jordan Scott, asked me, she said, Hey, sis, we're going to go on a fast with the church. Would you like to go on it with me? I went on that fast and I saw breakthrough. But what happened was, God reminded me of all of these times when I would just be fasting and praying, just turning out place, mm -hmm. fixing, fam fixing dinner for my family, but then pulling away, saying, Y'all can eat. God told me to fast. I'm fasting. And so what he said was that this was a very intricate part that the body of Christ is really not tapping into. And many people are missing out on incredible breakthroughs and things that I have for them. So I want you to begin to take them through a journey, writing out what is fasting, how to fast, how to achieve breakthrough. Because his word, his word says some things just don't come out but by fasting and prayer. So I wrote a book. And I tell you, even when I look at the book, I feel the same. He was really writing through me, you know, in the book. And you basically are giving people a strategy mm -hmm. how to fast, how to reach breakthrough, yes. which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Before we wrap everything up today, we just wanted to still talk to her about some other ventures that she has going on. We said she wears many, many hats. Well, guess what? She's added more hats to those hats. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Uh -huh. So now she is a talk show host, y'all. Um, Direct Sales TV Network, which is a new network that's going to be coming out. They've got, they have all of the top um, multi-level marketers, people in direct sales are actually hosting these shows, which is amazing, a pioneer. And then she also has her millionaire mom show where reality meets talk show or talk show meets reality, however you want to say it. <laughs> right, but, um, right. Yeah, she's just amazing. So tell us about your shows mm -hmm. and, you know, when is everything going to get started? I know the Millionaire Mom show has already started. Right. Yeah. So the Millionaire Mom show is a show that was inspired and birthed out of the title, The Millionaire yeah. Mom. It's about my myself and my family, my husband, right? And then also just some reality of things that we're doing, interview type settings like this, where yes. we're interviewing moms that have been successful, you know, in their area of expertise um, and then what happened with the direct sales network so we were you know very privy to be a host of the direct sales TV network and guess what they did they named the show the millionaire mom themselves because they wow. really love the, the name, The Millionaire Mom, right, before we could even release the name. So that kind of happened. So we're really excited about that. So what we did, we decided to put a twist to it and call that The Millionaire Mom Unfiltered, right? Oh, wow. So The Millionaire Mom show can be seen on YouTube. That okay. was released. Its launch date was August the 1st. And then The Millionaire Mom on direct te the Direct Sales TV, um, September. So the beginning okay. of September, that is when that will be released. That is going mm -hmm. to be amazing. You you know, we can't wait. Um, so mm -hmm. I urge you guys to make sure that you tune in to the Millionaire Mom show on YouTube. Um, we're going to have all the information for you below. And also Direct Sales TV, when that comes out in September, we urge you to make sure you tune into that. So before we go, like I told you, I am going to have Ms. Lanika Scott 
give us our final words of wisdom. And so what I want to ask you as the, the wrap up question, you know, there are many moms out there mm -hmm. who look at your story and they say, oh, my goodness, this is so inspiring. You know, a stay at home mom of six, mm -hmm. you know, from food stamps to millions. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you may have a stay-at-home mom out there right now who wants to step out and right, start their own business. Right. They want to be a business owner. You know, give them your words of advice. What advice would you give someone who is in that position? Right. Well, thank you again. Wow, this is a loaded question. But, yes, yeah, just to help you who are looking in and tuning in, um, the first thing that I would say is something that I live by myself and that is faith without works is dead you know without faith it's impossible to please God so whatever it is that you're doing if you have the dreams that you have on the inside of you you just gotta dart out there right you just got to take the steps and just get to work and start doing it you know the next thing that I want to share is um, research okay mm -hmm. so you really need to make sure that the market your niche the people that you're gonna be servicing in business you know Business is really just contingent upon providing the need that somebody wants. So whether it's products that you're selling or even a service that you're selling, you want to make sure that you research, right? The Bible even talks about knowledge and all that getting, get understanding of a thing. So now as you're stepping out in faith and you're walking in it, you're also continuing to educate yourself knowledge about market saturation and things of that nature, what works, what doesn't work, right? And just continuing on. And then the third thing that I want to share with you is mentorship, right? Yeah. You even stated um, this weekend as all of us, you know, Danielle, Tori, Aisha, you, Danita, <laughs> and I are in here and praying and just really enjoying one another. Iron does sharpen iron, so you need mentorship. Absolutely. You need to be able to look at someone, learn from, glean from, and I even have a list of ladies in my phone that have earned millions, right? And I look at what they're doing. In admiration, I don't get jealous of the, the women. Mm -hmm. I know that they're following in their lane, but I say, okay, I can take that. I like that. So look at them and find someone that you can also learn from and glean from, and it is the prince principles get this you still do it your own way authenticity sales but it's the principles that will always win and if you learn to apply the same principles that one has used to obtain wealth then you will also be able to operate in it well there you go there you go somebody needs to pass the offering plate for that okay <laughs> <laughs> well listen miss lanika scott thank you so much for stopping by and listen y'all this is my mentor Aww. this is my prayer <laughs> sister and i love her i'm so proud of you and thank just thank you. you so much for taking the time and i'm very proud of you thank you <laughs> well we hope you enjoyed our show today you know god is amazing listen y'all listen to what she's saying because it's going to take you to another level but thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next week on women nation we all need to be encouraged in this world that's in us spin. We all need some positivity.